Here's a short demo. Gives you the idea of what it's like to have steering enabled versus to not have it enabled. I'm behind this fellow who passed me and I have steering enabled and you'll see that I'm taking the tangents and he's not. I'm in Titans Grove right here and I got passed by somebody that I'm having a hard time keeping up with. Here's how I'm keeping pace with him just by riding the tangents using the steering function. If you have steering enabled, you're allowed to enter Repack Ridge, which is a turnoff off of Titans Grove. This is a single track. You can be on a road bike. Zwift will automatically place you on a mountain bike. And then you take off and you must steer. You have no option but to steer. And if you steer badly, you'll lose a lot of time on Repack Ridge. So here's an example of me steering well and then me steering badly. Uh, and you'll see that I come to pretty much an abrupt stop when I steer badly, which will happen right here. Going fast on Repack Ridge is a combination of both riding hard and also steering well. If you steer badly, you'll lose a lot of time. Swift will give you prompts telling you how you did. It'll tell you nice line or it'll tell you a little rough. Even going over bridges, you'll see that that uh, blue-green line is the preferred line. And if you take that line, you'll go a little bit faster. It's easy to steer when you're riding uphill on Zwift. It's when you turn the bike downhill that it gets a little bit more challenging. Uh, like right about here, where I took a bad line. I'm just trying to get to this finish arch.